And the dangerous temperatures could cause issues for people driving to work tomorrow. KBC 9's Eli Rosenberg continues their team coverage of this winter blast. Eli? There is cold, and then there is the cold that is expected to be here shortly. There are things, though, that you can do to protect yourself and your car so you get to your destination safely. With that in mind, tonight we're rolling with an expert. We have a stalled car in the number two lane. It's just before dark. And Missouri motorist assist driver Tony Snorgrass is rushing to yet another call. You always got to be watching your back. Uh, because uh, not everybody is watching out for you. In this case, it's a stalled car on I-35 headed towards downtown. It's going to be on a white Oldsmobile. After a brief huddle, we're going to push him. Snorgrass uses his massive truck to push the Oldsmobile off the highway cool thing, to it? safety. Oh, man, that's awesome. I'm get some help. <laughs> Copy. I'm turning around uh, 70 eastbound at Brooklyn. No time to rest. Snorgrass is off to his next call. A semi truck oh, in distress. Uh, there's a light tow and heavy tow in front of it. And while this is busy, mm, Snorgrass and the rest are expecting calls to spike as temperatures continue to plunge. People have mechanical issues, if not battery issues, uh, um, out of gas issues, you know, from their, their gas freezing up. Snorgrass suggests drivers fill up their gas tanks and throw a blanket in the car. All right, yeah, no problem, bud. If you need anything, start 5 5. And then it's uh, off. We'll There's more outside. work to be done. Another satisfied customer. If you do find yourself in trouble, do not worry. Help is on the way. And while it may feel like an eternity, the average wait time for MoDOT motorists assist only like six and a half minutes. Cruising along I-70, Eli Rosenberg, KMBC 9 News.